Hello and welcome back for another video. This is T-Bone here and today we are going to be talking about quite a few mods that I have been enjoying in Baldur's Gate 3 and if you are a D&D &D fan I think you're going to enjoy these as well. Do keep in mind that these are game changing mods. They change how the game plays and they change a lot of factors about the game. So they do make your achievements go off. Uh, you keep your achievements, but you cannot earn new achievements with these mods installed. Now, they aren't game-breaking, uh, so do keep that in mind. But they do change a lot uh, about the game. Uh, none of them are exploitative or cheats, would I say. Uh, they just change a whole bunch of uh, different things as far as spells and, you know, races and features and stuff like that. So... First off, we are going to take a look at the Fantastical Multiverse mod. So this one right here, it gives you a whole bunch of different races throughout different versions of Dungeons & Dragons uh, from Faerun, Eberron, Kryn, Etharis, Milipala, I don't know if I pronounced that right, and Eorzea, which is actually Final Fantasy XIV. You actually get Final Fantasy XIV races uh, as well. Just a few of them, not all of them. Basically, these are playable races from Legacy, Grim Hollow, and Homebrew that have been adapted and relevant for any classes. All races have been revised to be compatible with the new era of D&D &D, uh, format. So, one D&D &D and Monsters of the Multiverse uh, fantastical races already. So, some of these are... Uh, that we have already do keep in mind that this mod will change the racial features a little bit uh, to be updated with uh, actual fifth edition and these uh, specific races um, as far as like the books and stuff like that. So you get orcs, Asimars, Gensai, Bugbears, Changeling, Furbogs. Uh, you get the Githers Arai, Goblins, Kobolds, Minotaur, Shifters, Changelings. Uh, you get Shadar Kai's Sea Elf, Pallid Elf. You get Astral Elf. You get Tritons, Yanti, Kendars. Uh, you get the Lineage Races for Dampier, Hexblood, Reborns, and a whole bunch of other ones. You get 54 different races with this one. So do keep in mind this changes a lot about the game. A lot of these races, they don't have the icons updated. And some of them... Uh, some of the racial features aren't um, showing. I think they work. They just don't show on the uh, thing. But a lot of them work, and a lot of them are actually really cool, and a lot of them are actually really fun to play with. Uh, just keep in mind that it does change your game up a little bit. All right, the next mod I, I'm going to be talking about is going to be 5e spells. This adds a lot of the five fifth edition spells uh, rules as written into Boulder's Gate 3, and a lot of them that are missing are in this mod as well. This is one of my favorite mods in the game. Uh, to be honest, it brings in a booming blade, control flames, create bonfire, frostbite, green flame braid, lightning lure, magic stone, mine silver, mold earth, a whole bunch of the stuff that is actually really good for other classes or other builds and it, it brings them in because like a uh, booming blade for a hex blade and a bard is really really important in my opinion uh, you also get shape water spare the dying sword burst thunderclap told dead vicious mockery word of radiance it actually uh, puts in a lot of cantrips that are actually really strong because that's one of the things in Baldur's gate 3 in my opinion that the cantrips are very weak so it adds a lot of the better cantrips into the game uh, you get all the first level, third level, fourth level, and fifth level spells. Uh, that's about where it stops at. So you don't go uh, any higher than that. This mod is mandatory for a few of the mods that I'm talking about in here. Fantastical Multiverse with a whole bunch of different races. Add different classes or subclasses or anything like that. Uh, so this one is a very, very good one to have in. And... To be honest, it adds a whole bunch to a lot of the other classes and builds that uh, you'll be playing throughout the game. So the next mod I'm going to be talking about is actually one of my favorites. 
And this is going to be uh, the cleric subclasses for release. And this adds all the cleric subclasses that were not added in uh, on the release of Baldur's Gate 3. So you get the death domain, forge domain, grave domain, arcane do arcana domain. Uh, you get the order, twilight, peace, um, domains that were not added in as well. Do note that additional deities do not include the dead three. These weren't added in. There are different mods that add those in if you want to use that. I'm not sure if they're compatible with this one, but they are. So they do go up to ninth level spells on each of these classes. They do have the uh, channel divinities as well. So they're fully fleshed out uh, classes brought in from 5th edition rules as written. Like I said, you do need the 5e spells mod to get this mod to work. Uh, but I think this is actually really, really cool. And a lot of the domains in here are actually really, really fun to play in Boulder's Gate 3. And I think actually are really, really good. So if you have a favorite cleric that was not in Boulder's Gate 3, then check out this mod. All right, I will have all these mods listed in the description below. Uh, a lot of these mods, I think, uh, flesh out the game a little bit more and feel more like a D&D &D experience. Uh, I'm also looking forward to a couple other mods that are uh, going to come out for the subclasses D&D. Uh, &D. Uh, those I'm really looking forward to adding in. Uh, I'm not really one to add major cheats or, you know, exploits uh, game-breaking game mods. Uh, but I do want a more fleshed out experience uh, with different classes, subclasses, and races, uh, as well as clothing mods and stuff like that, just to make it more immersive and make it f feel more like D&D. &D. Uh, if you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe if you feel like I have earned it, and stay tuned for more mods and Boulder's Gate 3 content. T-Bone out.